Introducing VitaScan LT Bladder Scanner. Guidelines and assistance on how to perform a successful bladder volume measurement. A quick review of the human anatomy. Knowing the location of the pubic bone and bladder is important to avoid any pubic bone interference of the ultrasound beam. By placing the probe above the pubic bone and angle it towards the pelvis, this will give a clear view of the bladder. Important to know. Small bladders are positioned directly behind the pubic bone, emphasizing the importance of angling the probe toward the pelvis. This will help you detect the post-void residual bladders. How to perform a successful scan? Make the patient lie in the supine position. Palpate the patient's pubic bone. Apply generous amounts of gel in the midline, about 3 to 4 centimeters above the pubic bone. Place the probe on the gel. Angle the probe toward the pelvic floor. Press the scan button to start pre-scan mode. Rock the probe gently and look for a well-defined bladder. Center the bladder in the scanning image. Angle the probe to find the best circumference of the bladder. Or aim to target the largest circumference and center the bladder in the display. When this is achieved, press the scan button once more to start scanning sequence. Keep the probe in the same position until the progress bar shows 100% and two images of the bladder is displayed on the display. The probe will take 6 to 24 images of the bladder in different cross sections to build up a 3D model of the probe and based on this model, the software will calculate the bladder volume result. Evaluate the scan before accepting the result. <laughs>